Let's take a look at creating mouths. Please note that this tutorial was created on an iPad Pro using Animation Pro version 1. Your screens may look a little different. You can access the Animation Pro mouth creator via the Create Crop menu at the top of the screen. Press the button with the picture of the spanner on it and select Create a Mouth. Animation Pro will display all of your mouth projects. You can edit an existing mouth by tapping on it. Otherwise, press the plus button to create a new one. Give your new project a name and then tap on it to open it. The mouth creator is the equivalent of 12 image creators on a single screen. It uses all of the same drawing tools as the image creator, so I won't be covering any of those here. For more information regarding the drawing tools, please check out the Image Creator tutorial. Now Animation Pro mouths are a special type of item that may be added to your figures. They're designed to animate automatically when associated with audio containing speech. This is known as automatic lip syncing, and more details about that can be found in the Animation Pro Help. Click on Audio, and then Lip Syncing, as shown. There's also another tutorial on Animation Pro Audio that will cover lip syncing, so please check that out as well. So let's talk about mouths. To animate a mouth properly, Animation Pro requires a series of 12 images representing various mouth shapes. These shapes are displayed on the left hand side of the screen. The mouth shape that you're currently editing will have a blue border. As you can see, the first is a closed mouth. Animation Pro will display this mouth when a figure isn't talking. The next four shapes below it represent the mouth opening wider and wider as the volume of the speech increases. Please note that these are the mouths that will be displayed when audio contains normal tones. The four shapes immediately to the right of them, however, represent the mouths that will be displayed with an increasing level of what's known as white noise. In other words, speech that contains s or t sounds. The first shape at the top of the second column is shown during a transition from a normal tone to white noise. And lastly, the two shapes at the bottom will be shown for abrupt volume changes, such as when someone says b or d or p. Let's quickly take a look at that in action. La 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 la. So let's now take a look at how the mouth creator works by creating all of the shapes for a new mouth. We'll start by selecting a different background colour. The teeth in the mouth will be filled with white, so this will make it easier to see what we're doing. I'll also select the Apple Pencil for drawing. I'll start by drawing the first closed mouth as indicated by the blue border around the first image in the mouth shapes panel. You'll notice that a green tick appears when I modify the mouth shape. You can press this button at any time to save your changes. All of the other mouth shapes are going to be a variation of this first one. Now I really don't want to draw it over and over again, so I can simply drag and drop the active thumbnail image to copy it into the other mouth shapes. Once that's done, I can select the next mouth shape and start making changes to it. Let's now fast forward the video whilst I complete the remaining mouths. Once you're done creating all of your mouse shapes, you can try out your mouth by pressing the test button as shown. Select your desired frame rate and then press the play button to see your mouth in action. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And if you don't like the sample voice, you can always record your own. Six thick thistle sticks. Six thick thistle sticks. Okay, there's a few more things to mention about the Mouth Creator interface. As with the Image Creator, the Mouth Creator allows you to undo the last 20 changes made to a mouth shape using the button at the top of the screen. The button to roll back to the last save image, however, is located at the bottom of the Mouth Shapes panel. 
and when you're working on a given mouth shape, you can drag another mouth shape onto it to see it as an onion skin. Animation Pro gives you a lot of different options for saving and sharing. Press the output button at the top of the screen. The first two options generate a mouth from your mouth shapes. By default, Animation Pro saves mouths at a resolution of 250 by 250 pixels. On an iPad, you can also choose to save the mouth at a higher resolution of 500 by 500 pixels. On the larger iPad Pro, 800 by 800 pixel mouths are saved when choosing the high resolution option. The next two options allow you to email your mouth at either a standard or a high resolution. Now, you can also use the two share options to email mouths as well, but those won't generate an email containing a preview as shown. Next, we can save the current mouth shape that we're editing as an image to Animation Pro's user images, or trim and save the current mouth shape to user images. Trimming automatically removes any blank pixels from around the mouth. The final four options allow either a mouth or the current mouth shape to be shared via the iOS sharing options. These options, for example, can be used to airdrop a mouth to another iPad or to a Mac. To finish, let's see how the mouth looks in a short animation. First, we'll substitute it into a figure. We'll create a couple of frames and then export. Thanks for watching. I can't feel my lips!